So when you know it was hot in there, random leaf fly up into the manifold valley. Well, I feel like somebody's watching me. Uh, you know, that's something I want to show you guys. You ever wonder how you make stuff last? Cooling. Cooling is the key for everything in motorsport. It's all about heat management. I can't remember who I heard this from first, but you can apply it to everything. Your engine, coolant temps, oil temps, intake air temps, tires, tire temps dictate a lot of stuff. It all comes down to managing temperature. So to make stuff last, make stuff last, don't let it get super hot, or let it work in the environment it's meant to. So the wastegate, they're designed to take heat, but some of the tiles and other ones have water cooling ports on them now. A lot of people don't run them because it's a pain in the ass. Guess what? If you run it, it doesn't get as hot. If it doesn't get as hot, the diaphragm shouldn't wear out as fast. So anything that has a water cooling option, turbo, wastegate, any of that stuff, I always use it if I can. Like, unless it's in insane pain or that's just the positioning of it won't allow it, fair enough. But if you can water cool something, always do it. Oh, coolant line still draining. Curious how I ran coolant to everything. Take out the plug that's in the block right here. So it goes up to the wastegate, through the wastegate, and a jumper up to the turbo, through the turbo, into this guy, dips underneath the motor, and goes over into the uh, part of the intake manifold. It has a, a factory port or something I deleted for something or another. Probably a throttle body warmer, the coolant lines that go there. So I use that for the end. So you can. See it buried right there. That's where it goes back into the motor again. But radiators out, pipes are out, hot sides done, wiring's kind of hanging. But it's supposed to be really cold this weekend. And I was gonna try to get a cherry picker over here to pull the motor. Don't know if I'll get to that point. I might just try to get uh, everything else pulled, like the. Uh, Transmission will come out, disconnect the fuel lines, disconnect all the coolers, power steering stuff. I might even just pull the front end off the car since I am going to like paint the bay. I got to get where the rails are underneath the fenders and stuff. So I might hold off on pulling the actual engine out of the bay until uh, next weekend. Maybe I'll get the picker one night during the week when it's a little bit warmer or something like that. But here I'll sit down, point out a couple parts, trying to make this video for people that maybe don't know as much that want to turbo their 240 and maybe aren't familiar with terminology or what does what when you're referring to a hot pipe or a cold pipe or anything like that. So I'll sit down on the workbench and go through each part I pulled that's major that someone you know you would need to know if you're going to boost something. Then uh, call it a night.